Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a comparison of Todoist versus ClickUp. We will be taking a look at the pricing of both of these tools, what these tools can do, who they are best for and an overall comparison of all of the features of both of these tools to figure out which is going to be the best for you. So the first thing to start out with when comparing these two tools is going to be the pricing. Now Todoist is going to be the cheaper of the two. I mean, both of these do have free plans. So we can see free forever and then Todoist has a free forever plan as well. And of course, these are going to be completely free. However, if you do need to upgrade, then Todoist is going to be the cheaper of the two. So we can see for Pro right here, this is going to be $4 per month when you pay yearly or $5 per month when you pay monthly. And then the business is going to be $6 per month when billed yearly or $8 when billed monthly. ClickUp, on the other hand, is slightly more expensive. Not like a crazy amount more expensive, but we can see $7 per month for the unlimited and $12 per month for the business. For some people, this is absolutely going to be worth it, like 100%. But for other people, like paying these extra few dollars per month, there is no need at all. So let's go into the features and I will show you who needs ClickUp and who needs Todoist. Now I am in the free version of both of these tools. We're going to keep this nice and simple and stick with the free version so that everybody can access all of the tools in this video. And the main difference between these is the simplicity. So this is both a pro and a con for ClickUp, but ClickUp, you can do a lot more. Whereas Todoist is very, very simple in what it is. So the way that we can create new projects, and in this video, I will show you an example of if I was planning out some YouTube content for the next few days. The way that we do this in Todoist is we can go to my project, create a new project. And you will notice here in Todoist that we have some templates, but honestly, these templates are terrible. Like I would never use any of these templates. They, these are all basically terrible templates and I would not recommend using any of them, but that is there. But we can go in and add a new project and let's call this YouTube videos. We can then choose the color. So let's just set this to a nice red color. That's just going to be a dot at the side. It doesn't actually change the background color or anything like that. And then we can set this to board. So the board view is probably going to be the main view that you use with both of these tools. And in here, we can start naming sections. So let's just call this to do. Then we can add a next section and call this recorded. And then we can add the next section and let's call this edited. And let's add this next section and we can call this uploaded. So we now have this board laid out. Next, let's come over to ClickUp and we need to create a space down here. So on Todoist, these are called projects. On ClickUp, these are called spaces. And something I will say about ClickUp is if we go into the templates, the templates are a lot better to use. So you can see straight away the complexity that we can get to if we want to with ClickUp. We can keep this nice and simple, but we can also go very, very complex. We can create some very complex charts and workflows and everything like that. We can't do this on Todoist. It's very, very simple. But in this example, I'm just going to create a new blank space. We'll call this YouTube content. And then we can click on continue. So right here, you can see what I mean, where it's harder to use at first, but once you get used to it, you can make this as complex as you want. Like straight away, it's going to ask us to define your workflow. Do we want to run a marketing team, a project management, product and engineering? So you can choose from one of these, but I'm just going to leave this as blank and we can create this up here. So then we can switch between the list and the board view. We can do the same thing on Todoist. So right now we are on the board view but we can go up here and flick this to list. But for now, let's stick to the board view. Then in here, we can go along and customize all of these areas. So I'm going to leave this as to do. We can then come in here and rename these categories. So I'll switch this from in progress to recorded. Then we want to do for the entire space. Then we can do this one from complete. I'll actually leave this as complete. Then we can add a new group. We can call this edited. And then we can add a new one and let's call this uploaded. We can also customize the color of these as well on ClickUp. So this is not something we really get with Todoist. And straight away, you can see right off the bat that ClickUp has a better user interface. So I could click in and go edit statuses. And then maybe we want this to gradually fade to a more green color. So we could go to this and set this to like this color and then change color to blue, then change color to this slightly more green then a very green color, and then we have completed at the end. So they are all upgraded right now. We can see it gradually fits. Then we can go in and we can actually add tasks to these. So I might go to to do and we can add this video. So to doist 
versus ClickUp. We can then go down and add a description if we want. On Todoist, we can also add a due date. So we could say this is due today. We can then assign a person. So this is if you have any team members, you can assign a person right here. We can set a priority. So blue is low priority and then red is high priority. And then for the reminders, we actually have to upgrade to one of the more paid plans to access this. So we can lock this in and then we can see we have on to do, to do list versus click up, do today. And then as we go throughout this, we just drag these into these next sections. We can do the same on click up right here. So let's add a task. And in here, we can call this to doist versus click up. We can then add an assignee. We can add dates. So let's say this is due today. We can add a priority and then we can click on save and that's going to be added in right there. So once again, not, not to hang on this for too long, but we can see straight away that the layout and how ClickUp looks is going to be a lot better. We can also go into more detail and add subtasks. So this is more going to be helpful if you are using a team, if you have your team on Todoist and ClickUp and you want to show them exactly what to do. So we can click on here and we can start adding subtasks and we can break down the exact subtasks that make up this video. So we could say like script video, set up mic and camera, record video, edit video, create thumbnail and upload. Once again, for each of these individual subtasks, we can go in and edit these and set like an assignee to each of these. So you might have it that two people are working on the same task. So Todoist versus ClickUp, but we have different people on each of these subtasks. What I find cool about Todoist as well that we don't get inside of ClickUp is you can set subtasks within subtasks. So for script video, I could click in and then I can add even more subtasks for script video, but I'm not going to do that. And then essentially what our team can do can come in. They can check off these different subtasks. And then as they do, we can move this along to these different areas. So we know exactly where each video is in the pipeline. Now we can do the same thing in ClickUp. So we can click in, we can go to, where is it? Add subtasks right here at the bottom. And then I'm not going to add these in to bore you, but we could add these in right here. And if we click in, we actually can't add subtasks within subtasks on ClickUp. So it's not something that I have ever used, but just keep that in mind right there, that that, that is a feature that Todoist has. And then once again, we can come in here, we can drag these out through these different areas and make sure the pipeline is up to date. But as I say, this is basically where these similarities end because in Todoist, we only have these two views. We have list and board, and then we can also get a calendar, but we do have to upgrade for this. Whereas on ClickUp, we can go view and look at all of these different views that we can get. We can get a team view, we can get a mind map, we can get a calendar Gantt. So the calendar that costs or you have to upgrade for on Todoist, we can get for free on ClickUp. So I can drop a calendar view in right here and then I can see my task that I set today, Todoist versus ClickUp, is going to pop up on this calendar. If I create a new task, let's say this is to do, and let's just say this is like a Zoom tutorial and I set this for tomorrow, just like that and save. If I now go over to the calendar, it's going to pop up on the calendar. So this is very nice that you can get the calendar view on the free plan of ClickUp. But on Todoist, you can't get this. You kind of can if we go to upcoming. This is kind of like a calendar view. So we can see it's kind of like a calendar, but it's not at the same time. This is considered a board view. And then if we actually want to get to the calendar, we do have to pay. So it's not the worst thing in the world. We still kind of do have some sort of calendar with Todoist, but it's just not the same level of calendar that we do with ClickUp. One thing that Todoist has that ClickUp doesn't have though, is this Today tab. So we can come in today on Todoist and we can see all of the tasks that we have set for today. So this is going to show us everything that we have to do today. We just come in, check them off. And this is a very handy tab to have. But that is basically all you can do with Todoist. As I say, it's very simple and it's very slick and modern for people who just need some very basic project management features. Whereas with ClickUp, this is where ClickUp really runs away with the features that it has. So we can come in here, we can go to docs and we can start creating documents. We can go up and create a document right here. So we could go in and we could title this. Let's just title this test. Then we can go down. And we could just start typing out if this is a regular document or alternatively, we can hit slash for commands and look at all these different things we can get. We can add tables, we can add checklists, we can add different headings. So if I go for heading one, 
We could like title this differently, then go back to regular text. We can come in, we can get like a checklist as a table, we can embed YouTube videos. And basically, if you want to create like SOPs or a document for your team, or even if you want to take notes, you can do this inside of ClickUp. We also have dashboards right here. And dashboards is going to show us basically like a report of all of the tasks that we have. So it says we have two unassigned tasks, we have two tasks in progress, we can see total tasks by assignee as like a pie chart, we can see workload by status. And once again, this is going to be very handy when you have a team. We can customize this area by adding in certain cards. So we can add anything right here. We can delete sections by clicking on these three dots and then deleting the card. And we can really customize this in any way that we like. We can also go over to clips and this is like a screen recorder inside of ClickUp. So I could click on new clip right here, start recording, and then I can start recording my screen. So once again, this is super valuable for if you have any client work that you need to share your screen, it's going to record your microphone. It's going to share your screen even when you are outside the app. So with this, the possibilities, I guess, are endless. You can show client work on your screen. You can go into ClickUp. You can show new team members what they need to do and how to use ClickUp with the way that you've set things up. And then all we need to do is stop recording. That clip is going to render in and then I can share this link with anybody. We can also go to timesheets right here and basically track time that we have spent on tasks. So we can add this in. Zoom tutorial, I can add in the hours that I spent each day. And then we also have this whiteboard feature. So we can go down, where is it? Whiteboard right here. We can open up a new whiteboard. Let's just call this test. And we can basically draw, we can create mind maps. We can do so many different things uh, like that. That was a template. I'll just delete this real quick. But we can come in here. We can choose from any of these templates to make a mind map. We can start drawing ourselves. We basically have an entire whiteboard functionality within ClickUp as well. So those are the main differences right there between ClickUp and Todoist. Overall, Todoist is a simpler and cheaper tool. So if all you need is a very basic project manager, like we can see right here, where we can see the projects that we need, we can track the time, we have a very basic calendar view, then Todoist is going to be the best option because it's less complex. Whereas with ClickUp, even with this free plan, we get the calendar view. It is slightly more expensive if you do need to upgrade, but overall ClickUp is going to be the better tool for some more complex project management tasks, as you can just do so much more with this. Once again, if we just look at the templates on offer right here, we can see we have like legal project management and you can see the way that this is laid out. This is just not something that we can do with Todoist. So that is my comparison of Todoist versus ClickUp. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.